7 o'clock is the starting time. Pips go through 4 7 pm and they're almost set. The main two are Michael Blue Chip and also Imperial Atom. All set now for the first at Mooney Valley over the 1940 metres. All set to the judge and two. A fast track and this is race one. Set, green lights on there, racing out wide, Atomic View driven out with the whip, looking for the lead, Butler is trying to keep it out, and Excellafella is driving up on the inside, Sam Mack on the outside is working across, but Atomic View is flying out of the straight, and works to the lead, Excellafella hopped out of its gear, checking, Butler also rolls and rolls, Double Whiskey broke up, Imperial Adam found some bother with McElby, Michael Bluechip also lost some ground, he dropped out to second last, and Bobby Rado dropped out to the tail, Atomic View leads down the back of the 1600, Sam Mack on the outside travels up into second, third, 10 metres away, Butler. McElby gets to fourth, 15 metres away, Excellafella. Getting going on the inside of Concentric, 10 metres away, Imperial Adam on the outside of Rolls and Rolls. Out three wide, Double Whiskey being restrained. Michael Blucci one off the fences, third last, and Bobby Rado last. Gee, a good 60 metres had cover the field. Inside the lap and a quarter approach in the turn. Atomic view in front by a metre. Sam Mack on the outside draws up a little bit closer. Then McElby with cover one by one. Butler, the leader's back. Concentric is fifth and some 10 metres away. Five metres Excella fella. 10 metres to Rolls and Rolls. Then Imperial Adam, followed by Michael Blue Chip, Bobby Rado. And last on the rail is Double Whiskey. Down the straight, they've got a lap to go at the 900. Atomic View, he's narrowly in front. He's had a pretty good run by a neck. Sam Mack on the outside, he's done all the work. Then Butler. McElby's had the best run in the race. Fourth on the outside, then Concentric. Five metres away, Excella Fella on the inside of Imperial Atom. Back in behind them, Rolls and Rolls, followed by Michael Blue Chip. He's five back on the outside and third last and 20 metres off the lead down the back of the 650. Pulling out now is Bobby Rado and dropping out of a double whiskey. Towards the 500 metres, they race Atomic View. He leads narrowly by neck to Sam Mack. McElby, he's had the best run in the race. He pulls to the outside three wide. He tackles the leaders very quickly. In behind them came Excella Fella coming off the fence. Imperial Atom now seeing daylight. He pulls to the outside. He comes into the fight. Back in behind them, Concentric. Michael Blue Chip at the moment not in the race. He's third last. Bobby Rado peels around the outside. On the turn, though, at the 220. McElby three metres in front. Imperial Adam slowly bridging the gap. Eight metres away. Bobby Rado from well back making ground of the 100, though. Imperial Adam, he raced up on the outside. He grabbed the lead. Bobby Rado gets into second, placing out after Imperial Adam. Imperial Adam in front, though, and Imperial Adam too good for them. Imperial Adam wins two metres to Bobby Rado, McElby third, six metres away every chance, then Atomic View, Excella fellow back in behind them, followed by Concentric, Sam Mack rolls and rolls, a gap to Butler, Michael Blue Chip second last, had no luck at all, and last in was Double Whiskey. All right, three, eight and ten, thank you, Brian. Three, eight and news out. And uh, it really does make a beaut scene there at Newcastle. Now, the selection... Thank you very much, Nick, and good evening, everyone, from Newcastle, where it's a very fine but a very cold night. So, good crown on hand for the bookmakers' final night. Coming up towards the home corner. Just about set to go, race three. Stand by. Blue light up, and they're racing. Over on the inside, good vibes got out pretty well. Little Stella showing pace far away. Jack Owen sparkling low bell tearing across from out deep, followed by Bavarian Ben getting a little bit closer as they go by the judge the first time, followed by Rocky United. Then came Forest Image drop, drifting a long way back, and Eagers Image is at the tail of the field. Going into the back straight with about a mile of run, and the leader sparkling low bell a length and a half far away. Jack Owen a length and a half to good vibes. Moving up on the outside, Bavarian Band is the first without cover right behind that little Stella and a length further back Rocky United. A length away to James Brett on the outside followed by Duke of Hanama. Then came Forest Image second last and Eagers Image at the tail of the field. Heading on to the top corner, 1,400 metres left to run, Sparkling Low Bell the leader. A half length on Bavarian Band and there's no loafing in this. Far away, Jacko third on the inside, Little Stella getting a nice trail one by one. A length and a half to James Brett next on the outside of Good Vibes. Followed further back then on the inside by Rocky United. Forest Image, it's outside, so the two favourites are together. And a length and a half further back on the inside is Eager's Image as they come around the home corner. Duke of Hanama drops to the rear. Bell at the judge this time as they straighten up. Sparkling low bell on top. Bavarian band doing all the work at the leader's wheel. Rocky United parked up third on the leader's back. Little Stella one by one, followed by good vibes on the inside of James Brett. And then came Rocky United. Forest Image back third last as they go by the judge. Duke of Hanama second last. And Eager's Image whips them in. 
One to go. Heading to the turn out of the straight. Sparkling Low Bell on top. Bavarian Band next on the outside in second spot. Followed on the rails by Good Vibes. They were followed moving up on the outside. A little bit closer than far away. Jacko followed by Little Stella. And then James Brett. Forest Image a long way back with Rocky United. Then came Duke of Hanamar and Eagers Image at the turn of the field. Down the back at the 600 metre mark. Sparkling Low Bell the leader. About a neck Bavarian Band who's done all the work. Rocky United running third. Little Stella waiting for the last shot at them. Followed by James James Brett Forest Image being tapped along about to start a run. Rocky United trying to thread its way through the field at the 400 metre mark. Bavarian Band's under pressure now but it moves up to join Sparkling Low Bell and here's Little Stella. Little Stella let loose on the outside. She's spreading quickly. She's raced up to join the leaders followed by James Brett right around the outside. Rocky United putting itself into the picture as they straighten up far away. Jacko can't get out. Little Stella the leader. James Brett the big danger on the outside. James Brett raced up to Little Stella. James Brett hit the lead, 100 metres left to go. Forest Image late, but James Brett's too good. James Brett powering away in the run of the judge and won it easily. Second, Little Stella. Third, getting home late, far away, Jacko. Then Forest Image, followed by Rocky United, Sparkling Low Bell. And then came Duke of Hanama, Bavarian Band, Good Vibes, and last, Eager's Image. Okay. Sky Channel joins us. Good evening to you, Nick. Good evening, everyone watching Albion Park through Sky and the gate rolling down towards the home turn and the starting area for this first race on the card. TAB favourite Mars Bar Kid at $1.55, about twos on, and $2.95 for Love to Shop. They're just about ready. Light on. Racing Mars Bar Kid from near the inside won the start and went straight to the lead. Southside Lad second, Webby's Challenge third, and then Son of Glory and Luigi's View. Love to Shop going through on the inside and then Lightning dropped out to the tail. Mars Bar Kid the leader around the first turn with Southside Lad settling on the back of Mars Bar Kid. Webby's Challenge third, a break of two lengths to Love to Shop, a length and a half to Enlightening. Son of Glory second last, and Luigi's View is a half length away at the rear. They're jog trotting past the tea trees the first time. Mars Bar Kid at a very leisurely clip leads by two to Southside Lad and two to Webby's Challenge. Another two lengths to Love to Shop, then Enlightening, Son of Glory, and Luigi's View dropped out to be last of the seven. They're an Indian file down the back. The lead time of very leisurely 38.5. Mars Bar Kid shows the way at the 1450. By two lengths to Southside Lad, Webby's Challenge third, Love to Shop fourth, then Enlightening, Son of Glory, and Luigi's View still last. And there's still an Indian file with short of 1300 left to run. Mars Bar Kid getting it very easy in the lead. And at the 1200 metres pole, it's Mars Bar Kid by two. Southside Lad is second. Webby's Challenge third, Love to Shop fourth, then Enlightening, Son of Glory. And still Luigi's View was last of all. It sounds as though the needle stuck, doesn't it? 32.6, first quarter of the mile. Mars Bar Kid shaken up now as they race past the judge and the bell. Leading by two over Southside Lad, two to Webby's Challenge. Then Love to Shop from Enlightening, Son of Glory. And Luigi's View is peeling away from the fence, but he's still last. And the best part of eight lengths from the leader, which is Mars Bar Kid at the half mile mile. Marker. With short of 800 to run, Mars Bar Kid one and a half in front of Southside Lad. Webby's challenge third. Now Love to Shop leaves the fence, moves up on the outside. Enlightening latches onto the back of Love to Shop. Son of Glory's on the rail, and then Luigi's view. 31.3 second quarter. Mars Bar Kid two and a half in front at the 500 metres mark. Over Southside Lad, who's now moving away from the rail. A length and a half to Love to Shop. Then Webby's challenge. Enlightening Son of Glory and Luigi's view. Mars Mars Bar Kid clear at the 350 metres mark. He went 32 down the back, 30.2, so there should be plenty of gas in the tank. Mars Bar Kid a length and a half to Southside Lad. Love to shop coming to the outside, but three and a half off the lead. Mars Bar Kid turns in front. Donahue roaring at him. He leads by two to Southside Lad. Love to shop and Webby's challenger trying hard. Mars Bar Kid in front. He's holding them at bay. They held out the platter, said, there's the race, and Mars Bar Kid collected the chocolates. Mars Bar Kid from Southside Lad and Love to Shop. Then Webby's Challenge in Lightning, followed by Son of Glory and Luigi's View was last of all. All right, those placings there of 2, 1 and 7 on race number 1 at Albion Park. Now, the... 
They're racing, beginning well Daisy Glider and also Big Bad Delvine from Tipton Bale and Roma Bale. Behind those Explosive Pete from Adios Prince Plum Roll and last of all was any tradition. Out of the straight, Daisy Glider has the run, race the length in front of Big Bad Delvine second. Third Explosive Pete followed by Roma Bale and Tipton Bale as the field packs up. Two further back Plum Roll from Adios Prince and last of all was any tradition. Down the side, Big Bad Delvine raced away. It's Big Bad Delvine two in front, Daisy Glider tiring into second Explosive Pete but it's all Big Bad Delvine. Delvine racing clear. Big Bad Delvine by four. Second explosive Pete, third Tipton Bale, followed by Plum Roll. Any tradition from Daisy Glider. Second last was Adios Prince, and back last of all was Roma Bale. Six, four, and three after the second event. Number six, Big Bad Delvine first. Second row with Flyboy. They're both back a fraction, but pacing. Off they go. Demon Rob driven out with the whip early. He'll look for the lead, Demon Rob. Kawat the lad trying to go with him to the first turn. They'll get across Bravery. Avon Hero, the inside runner. But Demon Rob has enough speed, using up a fair bit of petrol to get there. But Demon Rob goes to the front. Kawat the lad is able to drop to the rails behind him. In third placing in the early part is Avon Hero also on the rails. Now trying to ease back to the inside Bravery. So so it's now four back on the inner. Moving up around at Wayvans, actually the first one off the rails. Chrysos has its back. Then Happy Rata back on the inside and four or five away at the tail to Flyboy. To the judge, two to run. And the leader was Demon Rob by four metres. In second place in Kawatha Lad. Third was Avon Hero. Now it's 46.9 the lead time. In fourth place in gradually moving forward on the outside Wayvan. Bravery the rails. Chrysos gets Getting a good run up on the back now of Wayvan. Onto the back of Chrysos in turn, Happy Rata, and it's off the rails in front of Flyboy. Into the back they pace, and uh, with between turns, with a little over a lap and a half to run, the leader is Demon Rob by four metres. In second place in Kawatha Lad. Now he might uh, be in the pocket shortly, Kawatha Lad, he will be. Wayvan moves up on the outside. Down on the rails, Avon Hero now in the pocket uh, on the outside, moving around at Chrysos. Then Bravery covered up by Happy Rider and last of all racing on its lonesome was Flyboy. First quarter only 32.3 so after the early burn he's been able to have a little bit of a breather Demon Rob and he's travelling pretty well at the bell. Three metres in front in second placing Wayvan's done most work in the run. Kawatha Lad's going well but it's in the pocket. Chrysos moves up fourth then Avon Hero needing luck from the inside. Here's Flyboy going around them three wide. Looks like it'll get around Happy Rider and on the inside, Bravery. They sped up to 31 seconds that quarter. So he's running them along a fair way out on the leader. The leader was Demon Rob by three metres and still going pretty well. In second placing, Wave End. Chris Hoss three wide. Flyboy four wide, but coming quickly. Uh, down on the rails, Kawat the lad looks for the run. And then Avon Hero, wide out. Happy Rider tries to run on from Bravery. Past the 400. Demon Rob the leader. Flyboy continuing, it with, continuing with this run out wide. Wave End still there, Kawatha Lad not into the clear. Avon Hero behind runners. Then Chris Hoss, Happy Rider, they turn for home 200 out. Still Demon Rob the leader. It's getting busy on it. Kawatha Lad's worked into the clear. Flyboy out wider on the track in the straight. Demon Rob the leader. Kawatha Lad's had the run though. And Kawatha Lad's races straight past Demon Rob and races away. Kawatha Lad wins six metres. Demon Rob give it a Flyboy third in a tight three-way go for that minor issue. Bravery and Avon Hero the other two. Uh, just behind them, Wayvan, then Happy Rada, and Chris Os was last in. Okay, thanks, mate. Four, six, and eight there. Those placings race one at Globe Derby. Four, six, and possibly number eight. It's a photo for third officially. Mooney Valley side of the boxes at Wendy Park. Now the updated market for Victoria. Race set to go. Racing. And All Smiles actually won the start and race clear from Fantasy Dancer settling down through the middle. There was World Park last stylish impact as wide. Uh, getting up between runners then was Offers Charm followed by v uh, Chief Vitesse and on the inside was Sparkling Chief. Mekong Way was in bother and last. Up to the corner, All Smiles in front. Leads about two lengths to World Park Lass Fantasy Dancer the inside. Offers Charm hooks around them and makes a run. In the straight, well, All Smiles led. World Park Lass is Offers Charm along the rails. Offers Charm's going to get up and win it nicely. Office Charm beat All Smiles. In third position was probably World Park Lass, but it's quite tight. Also there, stylish impact from Chief Vitesse. Further back, Sparkling Chief and Mekong Way. Oh, good effort by uh, Office Charm and taking out the opening event. And the race due in about two minutes. Hey, how you been, Rod? 
I've been very good, thanks, Nick. It's uh, last meeting here before the winter recess, so the uh, wind is blowing, but uh, we're nice and warm in here in the broadcast box, and maybe over the Lee Club afterwards should be warm us up. That's good, Rod. And uh, of course, the you know, obviously being the, that windy night there tonight, you'd be wearing a hat and. Uh, and oh, yes. uh, you'd have your brush with you and everything like that so that you can get into the least club without looking too loutish? Uh, it, it's certainly a place here where you'd need a hat and a comb <laughs> and then after that uh, you go to the least club and uh, thaw out a little bit. Good Thanks okay. very much, Nick. No, no worries, Rod. We'll get back for a special from you later on in the evening there uh, at Penrith. There's Nog number five, which is uh, any suspicions. Now, Office Charm at 2.41. Picture from the mobile is outstanding. Great shot. Now they're all set for race two. Set. Ready, Mobile pulls away there racing, Nicholas Brannock away quickly on his inside, Whistling Willie is down, he's half out of his gear, gee must have rubber legs uh, Whistling Willie, nickname must be Gumby, he was down, he's up on all fours, the driver has lost the uh, offside part of the rain, he's in plenty of trouble there Joseph Borg on Whistling Willie, and Nicholas Brannock leads out of the straight, Collect again on the outside, draws up into second, Fortunato third, Pyrotechnic is fourth, then Gold Shield, he's sixth early on the outside, making ground the fence, Avon Destiny. In behind them, Sitting Bull, followed by Power Wiper, Karingal Kid. Cobra's first is eight metres away, and 25 metres away, Whistling Willie. Along the back straight in the first circuit at the 1450, Nicholas Brannock, he leads by six metres to Fortunato. The clerk of the course now leans across and grabs hold of one rein on Whistling Willie. So that fellow has been pulled up out of the race now, and as they travel off the top turn, it's all Nicholas Brannock early by eight metres to Fortunato. Third, the outside collect again without cover. Fourth on the fence, save on Destiny. And fifth with cover is Pyrotechnic. Then Gold Shield. He works up to be three back on the outside of Sitting Bull, followed by Power Wiper on the outside of Karingal Kid. And Cobra's first is five metres away. They've gone the first circuit, a thousand to go. And Nicholas Brannock looks to be cruising by five metres. Fortunato, his back has enjoyed a very good run. Collect again, a hit away. Third, the outside, always without cover. Then Avon Destiny, three back on the fence and pulling. On his outside is Pyrotechnic, then Gold Shield, still three back on the outside, and about 12 metres off, Nicholas Brannock has had a very easy run. Sitting Bull on the inside, four back, in behind them, Power Wiper, second last, Karingal Kid, and two metres away, Cobra's first. They go to the back straight towards the 650, and for the first time in the race, Nicholas Brannock, he quickens up by four metres, two collect again. A metre back is Fortunato, then Pyrotechnic. Gold Shield now pulls to the outside, followed by Avon Destiny, he held up. Sitting Bull comes off the fence. Power Wiper pulls out on the back of Gold Shield. Coming off the fence, Karingal Kid second last and two metres away. Cobra's first. Nicholas Brannock though, he comes to the home turn inside the 300 by three metres. Gold Shield out three wide. He works into second placing. Fortunato cannot get a run. Collect again is gone. Sitting Bull making ground from Power Wiper and Avon Destiny held up on the rail. Inside the 200 though, Nicholas Brannock is going easily. He's four metres in front. Gavin Lang has not moved. Fortunato back on the fence, gets into second place, and Gold Shield can't go on, but it's an easy one for Nicholas Brannock. Nicholas Brannock wins by three and a half metres to Fortunato, a metre third Gold Shield. Avon Destiny's flown for fourth, close up sitting bull, then Karingal. All right, thanks very much indeed uh, to you, Brian. Two, four and three there. Now, uh, they're old scripts, Rob, but they, they work. Uh, how are you? Bail. Now, any suspicions moves up with Close Enough and also Gallon Me, reportedly. All set. This is race three, the Peters Meat Stake. 190, Big Bear Janice. They're set. Ready and racing. Big Bear Janice flew out. Bounded three lengths in front of Beverly Bale second. Moving up on the outside. Gallon Me and Astro Bale checks. Savili dropped back to the fence. Fell back on top of any suspicions. Out of the straight, Big Bear Janice opens up to lead by five. Gallon Me second. Three away third. Astro Bale followed by any suspicions and Beverly Bale from Pop and Jay close enough and last of all reportedly. But at the top turn, Big Bear Janice is on the bunny. It's five lengths in front. Gallon Me taking some ground off it. Third was Astro Bale. Into the straight there. They won't get Big Bear Janice racing clear. Big Bad Janice by five. Big Bad Janice first, second, Gallon Me, third, Astro Bale, followed by any suspicions from Pop and Jay, reportedly in close enough, who was one of the last ones in with Beverly Bale ahead of it. All right, thank you, Rod. Okay, one, eight and three there. Now, race one, Globe Derby, Kawartha Lad, 430, fifty. Demon Rob, 140, and Flyboy, $1.50. Quinella, 470, Trifecta, $29.80 there, race number one. Meters, ready to go. In the final of the Bookmakers Hunter River Championship, they're set. 
Blue Light up, they're racing. Young Civil began smartly down towards the inside. Bandalong Boy kicked through to go with him and trusting, showing good speed. And here's Ken Sim tearing across from the outside, trying to head them all off at the post the first time. Going through on the outside is No Name Brad. Oh, there's bad trouble as he crossed over. Young Civil did well to avoid it. Bandalong Boy couldn't. He galloped and back with him as Artful Stepper and Dan's Court got knocked right out of it. Ken Sin leads down the back at the mile peg. Young Civil moves up to be second on the outside and No Name Brand is three deep and now he's going to attack for the lead on the favourite. A length further back on the inside is Trusting as they work down the back, followed by Gales Jet about eight lengths to Dan's Court, followed by Bandalong Boy and Artful Stepper at the tail of the field. Heading on towards the top corner, 1,400 metres left to go and Young Civil found the fence and leads by a length and a half. Ken Sin in second spot. No Dame Brand the first without cover. Then came Trusting over on the inside. A length further back, fly away Lucy, followed by Gales Jet Dance caught tacking on and a long way back to Bandalong Boy and Artful Stepper. Bell at the judge this time as they turn the corner. Young Civil stepping along nicely in front for Ellis. Leads by a length and a half. In second spot is Ken Sim. On the outside, no name brand facing the breeze. One by one, by one is fly away Lucy over on the rail, trusting, and then Dan's caught Gales Jet. A long way back to Bandalong Boy, and last of all is Artful Stepper. By the judge, one circuit left to go. The favourite on top, Young Civil leads the way. Moving up second, no name brand without cover. Ken Sim third on the rail as they head towards the back after the bell and then fly away Lucy, followed by trusting Dan's court, Gales Jet, Bandalong Boy and Artful Stepper. They've got 650 metres left to run down the back. And Young Civil held together. Leads the way by a length on no name brand. Ken Sim next on the inside and then fly away Lucy, followed by trusting who's looking for a way out of a pocket on the rail followed by Dan's Court and then Gale's Jet. Heading on towards the top corner, 400 metres left to go and Young Civil looks to be full of running the leader. Shows out by a length, moving up, fly away Lucy to second spot and then Ken Sim. No name, Brand's gone, dropped out of it very quickly, being passed on the outside by Dan's Court. Coming to the bend, 2.50 to go and Young Civil's given up. Young Civil's gone as they come to the home corner and fly away Lucy, shot to the lead. Fly away Lucy, straightened up in front of Ken Simmon. Gales Jet on the outside. Fly away Lucy, the leader. Gales Jet trying to pick it up on the outside and flying home through the centre is Dan's court, but fly away Lucy in front. The driver throwing everything at it and fly away Lucy's gain a score. Fly away Lucy by a length and a half to Gales Jet. Third over the line and galloping was Ken Simmon and Dan's court. Oh, they're in the back